Saving Grace Part 2. Grace had finally come up with the title Saving Grace Part 2 as a second part of her series. She had decided that that's what she needed to do is bounce back from the original book, Saving Grace. This was a continuation of her story about what originally occurred from the original book, Saving Grace. She realized that she couldn't fumble over all the old stuff, but really get back to the basics of what really got her started. She realized that she really needed to get back to basics of what she originally started with the original book. So she started writing and she started coming up with really the ups and downs of life and everything that occurred when she first started out and how she got the cottage back and how it all came together and how her marriage really brought her closer to the Lord. Even though she had some ups and downs, it really came together. And so did the book. And that's where she left off. As Michael called, he said, did you really come up with Saving Grace Part 2? Yeah, that's what I came up with. I couldn't come up with the right title, but Saving Grace Part 2 seems like the only best way to describe exactly how I felt. It seemed like a summation of everything I have been through, a living story. Like it breathes exactly how I feel. That sounds nice, Grace, said Michael. I like it. I like that you're continuing your story. Grace agreed. So, Michael, what are you doing today? Well, I'm here with the kids because it's the weekend. And being as we have church here, I know that we have to be at service. So, when are you coming back to the house? Well, I'll be back later on. I know it's a Saturday and I wanted to get this done. So, I'll be back here shortly. Okay, so what are we going to do for dinner? I don't know. What do you feel up to? Well, mom and dad said that they would cook if they if you wanted us to. Um, don't you think mom and dad deserve a break? Well, we could always order out. Would you want to order out on a Saturday? Yeah, the kids are up for a movie, movie night. Okay. We could go out to eat, too. Yeah, it's expensive, Grace to order for a large family like ours. Let's let mom and dad cook. What are they gonna cook though? Baked potatoes and steak. Steak? Did they already buy it? Did they already go grocery shopping? Yeah, they already just came back from grocery shopping. Okay, it's up to them, whatever they decide. I'll be back over there in a half hour. So if they start cooking, they said, Baked potatoes or mashed potatoes and corn. Okay, so they already got something started is what you're saying. Pretty much. By the time you get home, dinner will be on the table. Okay. How are the kids doing? They're doing great. Jackie is doing good. Rachel's doing good. Everybody's doing good. We just miss you. Okay, well, I got my manuscript so far. I feel like I've accomplished enough. I'll be over there shortly. Okay, Grace. Miss you. Miss you too. I'll be back. So Grace wrapped up everything, cleaned up the cottage, and she went ahead and locked up the cottage for the rest of the day. I'm so glad I have the cottage to do my inspiration work. But I better get home. I guess it's time to get home. So she went ahead and got in the truck and left the cottage. But before leaving, she wanted to talk to Marissa real quick on the phone, just to see how everything's going on with her new found life with her, Abby. Hey, Marissa, how are you doing? Oh, everything's great. How's Abby? Everything's good. And how's Robert? Uh, Everything's fine. How's being a mom? It's great. It's just a wonderful life. Oh, it sounds like a storybook. 
So how's everything with writing your book? Well, I decided on writing the second part to Saving Grace. Oh, that is wonderful. I'm glad that you decided to go with the second part. Your first part of your story was good. I bet the second part's going to be even better. Yeah, I think so too. While I'm headed home, I just wanted to check in on you. Well, thanks for checking in on me. We're doing good. Okay, I got to go. I got to get home. They're cooking dinner, so I don't want to miss dinner. Okay, Grace, talk to you later, said Marissa. Okay, talk to you soon. And Grace got home, and she pulled into the driveway. And she saw Nan. Oh, Nan, how you're doing? Oh, I haven't seen you in so long. I'm doing great. What are you cooking up at the house? I'm in the mood for dinner. Well, why don't you come over? I think I might just do that. So Nan stopped in, and she decided to make herself a spot at the table. Well, we're having steak, mashed potatoes, and corn. Oh, that sounds like a nice hearty meal. Mom, Dad, I hope you don't mind, but Nan's going to come over for dinner. Oh, that's wonderful. We have enough steak for everybody, so... I'm so glad we're having steak tonight because I'm in the mood for steak. Yeah, we got some small steak cutlets, so I hope everybody's going to be happy with what we cooked up. So they served the steak, mashed potatoes, and corn, and everybody was happy with the meal. Miss Yokoshoda said, Boy, Grace, you must be so busy. What have you been doing all day? I've been working on a book. That's what keeps me content and busy. Elijah and Jenny and Bailey said, Mom, you must be really busy at this book. Well, kids, I needed some time alone to think. That's what it helps me do. It helps me unwind and decompress. Jenny said, Mom, whatever it is, you didn't miss dance practice, thank God, this morning, because dance practice is important to Bailey. As Bailey's getting ready for spring recital, and of course, the cello practice is important. Uh, I wouldn't miss cello practice and dance lessons for the world. Of course, baseball signups is just around the corner as well. So it keeps the, the mornings busy, but in the afternoon, Grace has to have the afternoons to herself. No, I wouldn't miss that for the world, Bailey. Your dance practice is in the morning, so. Do you like dance? I like dance, said Bailey. I'm glad you do. Okay, so what are the plans for tonight? Are we going to watch a movie? Yeah. I don't know what movie we're going to watch, but hopefully it's not scary. No, we don't watch scary movies here. It has to be comedy, romantic comedy, or something funny. Okay, we'll pick something out. Me and Dad are going to go out and pick out the movie. Okay, great. So Dad was cleaning up the table as everybody was finishing up. And so was Rachel helping out. And so is Jackie. You know, you're getting relieved by Jessica. Jessica's coming in here shortly. So let's clean up whatever we can. It's almost time to put the little ones down for a nap. Melissa and Josiah and Michael are ready for a nap. So let them digest their food a little bit before it's time for a nap. Okay, that sounds like a plan. And just then, as time went on, it was time to put them down for a nap. And it was just the older kids. And Jessica came in to relieve the girls from their shift. Hi, Jessica. How's everything? Everything's going well. Do you know that things have been so hectic around here that it's hard to keep up with all the new schedules and all the new appointments and all the kids? Yeah, it has been a little hectic, but things are slowing down. Yeah, I know. Well, who's down for a nap right now? Well, the kids are upstairs on the computer. So right now, it's a light schedule right now. Oh, good. So no hustle and bustle? No, the cleaning lady comes on on Mondays. So we change the schedule to Mondays from now on. 
Oh, great. It's a good time to relax and have some downtime.